Welcome to another How To InfraScale video. Today we're going to go through how to local boot using your data protection appliance as your boot destination. So first, what is local boot? Local boot means you're going to boot up a machine, so a full recovery, in your local environment. For today's purposes, we're going to show you how to do that directly onto your data protection appliance. Next, so next I'll show you how do we do this, and then how do you access the machine once it's booted. So to do that, let's switch over to our data protection appliance console. So here in the console, we have our main home page, and you can access this directly from your dashboard. So you go to Dashboard, Appliances, and then you end up here. So you're logging into your primary appliance. The primary appliance is the one that's set up and configured to sit on your local network. Before we can go to the Boot tab, you have to first set up a client and a backup job so that we have a backup to boot from. And you can check out our other how-to videos on how to do that. So once those prerequisites are done, we go to Boot, and we'll be given a list in the Overview tab of the available, cl of the available clients that can be booted. So here I'll select Windows 2008 R2. I right-click and select Boot. This brings up our boot wizard. It's currently telling me that I have two of five boot instances in use. So this particular appliance is limited to only five VMs running concurrently. I select next, and then I'm given an option to select different recovery points. Typically, you might just always select the latest, but there are definitely instances of corruption, or um, maybe if there's a virus you want to go back before the infection occurred, or uh, whatever you want to do. And in our other videos, when you're setting up a client and backup jobs, we also go through how to set up your retention policies so that you have different versions. Here we can see that we have 91 different points to restore to. And if I right click and go to properties, I can see a little bit more information about these. So I'll select the most recent, hit next. And now I define the resources that I want to use from my data protection appliance to run this VM. So depending on the role of this VM, you know, what applications is it running, uh, you may select more or less resources. Then you also get a drop down with options for different Z VNC paths. And that will be used once we want to access the machine after it's booted. And then available networks. So we select finish. And this may take a couple of minutes, depending on the size of the VM. All right, so this is done. And then we go to Active, and now we have an Active tab. It gives us our VNC address. If I right-click, it gives us options to power off, reboot, reset, or just pull the plug. If we power off, we'll be able to create a backup job. So if you've recovered and you want to <clears throat> Then, and you've been running the machine in a production environment as a temporary restore point, uh, to recover to your production environment, you want to get the latest and greatest backup, and that's how you would do that. So here, we would, on this machine that stopped, I'd be able to create a backup job. That way, when we actually are ready to have a new machine in place, then we can recover from even the changes that have happened between the last recovery and the permanent recovery. To access, First, you need the IP address of the machine that it's sitting on. And then you have your VNC address. And this is easy to do if you use a program like Tight VNC. It's basically IP address, colon, and then your VNC number. And that's how you do it. And that is all there is to it for a local boot directly onto your data protection appliance. For more information, feel free to call us at any of our numbers, depending on where you are. We're available to support you in using our products 24-7, or visit infrascale.com and then check out our support site if you want to look through the knowledge base. Thanks, and have a good one.